Yes guys, what is happening? Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, we have a problem, we have a big problem. Um, yesterday I went out to film um, some drawbar shots, some sound clips, just like the usual uh, bonnet open, exhaust, air filter kind of noises. I was gonna put the mount on the car, good drive, uh, do some flyboys and stuff like that. But, this happened. Yep, so there's the GoPro, basically bent, the screen's gone, the whole lot, it's basically, absolutely, toast, look at it, it's bent, uh, there's the mount, the mount has pretty much snapped, uh, this is what holds the mount into place, here's my audio for the mic, and then there's the mic, so yeah, that's that, um, so I'm trying to be as upbeat as possible about this. Uh, I basically put it on the car, made sure it was secured, pushed, pushed it down on a flat space, so it wasn't on the edge or anything like that, it was on the flat end of the bumper. Um, and I give it a little yank, obviously, before I drive off and stuff, just so I know it's on there securely. I don't know what happened. Um, I literally drove up the road. Well, I wouldn't even go that fast. Um, and then I went to turn around, and then as I turn around, I drove down the road um, and then I pulled up just to check it I was like, no, it's gone, it's gone and then I looked like that and a tractor was coming down the road and I was like, that's it, it's done, the, it, the, it is absolutely gone the tractor was coming down the road I thought, oh, I drove up there, had a look and I just saw it all smashed up in bits um, so I'm just trying to have a little case with GoPro and saying that the mount is not sufficient enough for the job because it says that it was on a plane, attached to a plane. I was like, well, it was on the back of a McGowan and it decided to just jump off. So uh, yeah, you've ruined my GoPro, you've ruined my mount, you've ruined my audio. So even the audio on the camera, if the audio on the camera sounds shit, it's because my mic's broke. Um, so yeah, people that say YouTube's easy is not and the pay definitely is that isn't that good because that's like a seven hundred pound setup and it's gonna take me probably about a year's worth of money to uh, get that back. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to find out what I'm entitled to because the the whole reason I bought an official GoPro is that it was the dog's nuts and it obviously ain't so uh, I think next time I do it I'm gonna get some like rope and I'm gonna like attach it to the mount and something on the car. So if it does fall off it's gonna hang but obviously you don't expect that. So without further ado, sorry boring you for three minutes. Um I just like to tell you what happens in my life and shit that goes wrong. So if you have got a mount, attach it and stick some rope to it. So if it does go, you're covered. Uh, so what we're gonna do today, I've got two little things I want to mod. Uh nice and easy, just adds that little bit to the car so uh Let's get it. Right then guys, if you saw that you probably guessed it, we are putting some window deflectors on the Megane. Um, I think these are a must have pretty much on any car because they allow you to have the window open so much even though it's raining um, and if you don't want the wind you can still open the window. Um, so it's pretty good to be there so and it and i think they look cool as hell they just add that subtle little mod which uh which we're looking for so just a case of like uh banging them in and uh job done sort of do let's get out to the car 
and get it. What else we've got for the car, we've got a centre res delete pipe, which is going on, and I thought because work's going to get shit hot, um, this is a Ryobi impact gun. Um, I did post on my Instagram story saying I was looking at one, uh, looking at impact gun, what should I get? And I went with this bad boy. I do actually have one at the minute that's like plugged in, but that means I've got to run the extension lead. Um, I've got to run like the extension lead and all that kind of stuff, but because the car is on the, because the car is on like the drive, it's no good, so I need it out in the road and I don't want to be like extension lead down on a wire at like full tilt. So uh, yeah, got that bad boy. Um, when I come to do some exhaust bits, suspension bits, all that kind of jazz, we're gonna get it out and see how it, uh, it deals with the uh, four. So yeah, they are coming in the next like, couple of videos. But if anyone wants a real, I'll link it in the description and uh, pick up yours. So I'm just trying to help you guys. So if it's good for me, then it should be good for you, hopefully. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get it. Let's get on with the wind deflectors and get them fitted. Right then guys, it does say that there's clips, but unlike the Astra when I had the wind deflectors, um, I didn't even put the clips in, I just literally took the tape off and slotted it in. So uh, yeah, what we're gonna do is just undo it and then I'm just gonna try and just prise it in and see how it goes on. Um, so we shall see. Right then guys, so hopefully you can see me, hear me, all that kind of stuff. So what I'm gonna do, Literally, we're going to aim into this side of the door shut, so it's going to go like in between the rubbers and then we're going to like bend it into place because you can kind of bend it a bit so it has a little bit of flexibility. Obviously you just don't go too much because you potentially can snap them, so let's get her in. So I'm just going to just going to take the tape off because it's like, like a bit of like sticky tape so uh, as you can see there's a bit on the top and a bit on the bottom um, and then what we we'll do is aim in here like so slot her in and then give it this side like so make sure pop in <sighs> that already man Ooh, absolutely sick it does say like leave the window up for like 24 hours or something and it should kind of set but to be honest with you that's not going anywhere so i'm not even going to bother using the clips um if anyone uses the clips comment down below let me know why or if you even do or you don't um, but i did it on the astra and the car before that i didn't use it and i had no problems but obviously if it does fall off it's not not my fault but I haven't had any problems in like the three cars I've owned with wind deflectors, so uh, yeah, let's get on it and get to the other side. I'll just quick show you like, how it looks. Um, it looks like it's sat in pretty nice, to be fair. Um, looks like it could be going up a bit more, but obviously, hopefully, it sits in place um, like so. And but mate, it's absolutely banging. It looks it, the car looks more aggressive already. Buzzed. Well then, guys, so for those of you that didn't quite. This is this is literally how it goes. So just slot that side in there, and then obviously don't push this bit all the way up. You bend it in the middle a bit to slot it inside there, into side that bit, and then you push back and just slot it in between where the window sits, and you will have no problems whatsoever. So right, let's get to this side. All right then, guys. Same with same with this one. I'm just literally going to rip the end off, and then I get it wedged in. Time again, pull off the bits of tape there and there, and then let's wedge it in. It's actually pulled the actual tape off, so just be gentle. Okay, when you get. So right then, put the this edge end in first. And then push the 
there we go. Easy as that, that is how you do it. Uh, first, first mod complete. Right then, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do the windows up and I'll leave it in place for a bit. Uh, so, it's uh, fully secured up. So like voila, it looks so much better. It just like, I don't know, it just adds that it's just little things that add to the car to make it that, look that little bit better. And it's actually got form function as well. So uh, yeah, that is mod number one. And that was a doddle. So hopefully the decat, the air filter, the lowering springs, the spaces are all gonna be the same, but we shall see. Uh, I need to just do little things like remove the Renault Sport badge, not too keen on that, so get it off, just so it's like a clean canvas, um, even these, someone did actually comment, yeah these, I know what you mean, these are minging, why, why have they got silver, when there's nothing else silver in the car, so they need to go black, definitely need to do them black, just so, black or yellow, so it like ties in with the car, um, because they real tail lights, they're pretty faded as well, so they need like, either a polishing or something, because they look a bit shit, uh, so yeah, and an RS3. <laughs> Go on, son, give it some. He'll probably send it out the road if he's a boss. Go on, son. There's a dog there, so I doubt he will. There's a dog right down there. Go on. Oh. Right, where was we? Where was we? Um, yeah, just bit slow. Wipe the delete. Uh, get some new badges. Uh, I think I've saw some. Yeah, these are really clear on some Renault Megans where these are a bit murky. So I don't know if the inside's gone or what. So yep, yeah. I need to put my plate on. I'm debating whether to do that black. I don't know. I think I like it. Like I think I might black it out. You know, because then it's just like yellow black. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, just a little bits have got to be done uh, for now. And then we'll get into the big hefty stuff like spaces, coilovers and that kind of goodness. So yeah, uh, that's it for now. Look at the wind deflectors, so sick. Well then guys, so I think that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video. Something little, some little snippet of what's to happen. Um, like I say, I've got little touches to do, um, but I'm gonna video every single way I thought so you can follow every step, every journey that we do. So uh, yeah, it's not the biggest of mods, but it definitely helps. It, it just looks a lot more sleeker. So yeah, we are gonna get there. Um, the Astra, still deciding what to do for it, um, but if anyone wants to buy it, um, I could either sell it as it is, for a bit less or I could get it done and try and get what I want for it um, but it's just got uh, it's just got obviously the split of the conards the bonnet razors uh, it's got normal 19 inch wheels uh, I'm gonna take the side skirts off because that one's battered um, but yeah it just needs cam belt doing water pump uh, and the valve stem seals and then it's good to go um, and it's pretty much standard then other than the lowering springs so uh, yeah if anyone's interested get in touch other than that, I was going to try and take the splitter off and try and fit it on the Megane to see how that fits. So, hopefully you guys don't think, oh it's shit, oh it's a bag of shit, French shit. Just literally, for anyone else that has, that's out there, like, don't spread hate man. The world needs love, we all need to be like, try and encourage others to do things. I don't, I don't really care, but I just, I, I don't know, it's just like, it's not, it's not, it's not fun. Do you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't throw and find someone's car and just be like, "Yo, your car's fucking shit," because that's not the way the world should be. We should all be like, "Our oh, fair play." Even if it, if it's not my cup of tea, don't say anything. But it's it's one of them, I guess. Obviously, I've gone from the Astra to the Megane. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Astras are wicked cars. I love the Astra, but the Megane feels so much more stable, so much more light. 
grips do you know what i mean like um with the diff and all that it just literally pulls and pulls um so hopefully the next couple of videos you will actually see a, a driving video and all that kind of stuff i've just got to sort out the gopro because yeah you know the deal uh, so yeah i'll catch you on the next one all right guys like share subscribe please we're nearly at 5k so let's get there uh peace